Okay. So here we've got the temperature against the depth. So here we've got the depth. Surface is here. Yeah. 800 meter here. Yeah. And that's zero degrees, and that's six degrees here. So what we can see is uh, on the surface we get relatively warm water. Yeah. It's cooling down pretty quickly, and after that it's warming as we go further down, with a maximum at 2.7 degrees. And all this water from 400 meter to the bottom at 800 is at 2.4 degrees. The water at the seabed is unexpectedly warm, well above freezing. The impact of such warm water is dramatic. It's melting the undercut at the glacier's base, weakening the ice front, creating icebergs. Mm, top data. Yeah, really great, yeah. Terrible winch. Yeah, <laughs> terrible winch. Can't win them all. <laughs> The team believe the warm water that's undercutting the glacier might get even warmer due to climate change. Across the Greenland ice sheet itself, warmer spring temperatures are leading to a dramatic increase in the amount of ice and meltwater draining into the sea. It's something that particularly concerns Jason Box. There's a net loss of ice from Greenland in the last decade of about 300 billion tons per year. That's producing uh, approaching one millimeter per year of sea level rise. So in 10 years, that adds up to a centimeter. But then it's not a linear increase. By the end of the century, this should produce a global sea level rise uh, between one and two meters. Sea level rise is something which I think is frightening. Lo lots of people. It could have a massive uh, effect on the way that we live on this planet. Yeah, and that's a colossal problem for hundreds of, of large cities around the world. Climate change is likely to accelerate the mechanisms the team has witnessed at Stor. So far, they've seen how meltwater lubricates the base of the glacier speeding it towards the sea. And they've also revealed how the sea weakens the bottom of the glacier front. Cheers. 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 Together, it solves the mystery of how store and glaciers like it create icebergs. But if the team think they've now cracked all the forces at play, they're in for a shock. Can we get this step out of the water? I'm sorry, I, I, I want to go out of there. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, look at that! A wall of ice is splitting from the glacier. Compared to anything the team has seen so far, this is vast. Made a, a, a new environment in one go. That is a major carving event. What are we doing, Norman? Are we out of here? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're escaping. Oh, oh, look at the wave! Look at the wave! Look at the wave! Yeah, it's like a 10 meter wave. Is that going to be a monster? It looks big. It was, it was massive on the front. It hasn't reached us yet, but uh, it looks really big. Up at base camp, the rest of the team look on anxiously. The gambo, where is the gambo? They're, they're right down there next to me. She was on this side of the fjord. I think, I think they're down here. Damn, which way are these big ones? It's the carving of a mega bird. That is absolutely enormous. 140 million tons of ice, traveling so fast, it could outrun the gambo. A huge surge of water, a massive wave that rose up the side of the front of the glacier and quite clearly is going to slowly spread out towards us here. Major event, Alan. If we'd have been there, Norm, we'd have been wiped out. I don't want to sing Alan, about we it. We'd have been wiped out, man. Yeah, we, we would have been, been wiped out. It's carving on a scale far bigger than the team has yet witnessed. 